Let's break down the biomechanics of what's going on during the flight phase of sprinting. The flight phase starts at toe off. So once the back leg, you can see here, leaves the ground and the toe is off the ground, then the leg is swinging and that's the early flight phase. In this phase, there's a lot of eccentric muscle actions of the hip flexors like the psoas as well as the knee extensors. So the hip flexors and the quads have to work to slow down the momentum of the leg going backwards. Then towards the mid flight phase, we start to see more concentric muscle action of the hip flexor. This is a really important reciprocal action here because as that right knee drives up really hard, we can extend and plant our flex the opposite leg. As we get towards the late flight phase or the late swing phase, this is when we see the hamstrings have to kick on really hard to slow the leg's momentum down from extending too far. Then towards the very end of the late flight phase, that's when we see concentric action of the hip extensors, like the glutes and the hamstrings, to produce backwards force of the thigh, and that starts the stance phase, which we'll cover tomorrow. Follow for more training tips.